Hello guys, assalamu alaikum. This is your brother Abdi Muhammad who will be taking for you chemistry of form 3 as you can see on the board. We have the mod. I know this chapter you have problem with it, but I'm sure at the end of uh, at the end of my videos, which are actually interconnected, you will not have any problem with the mod concept, okay? I will start from the beginning up to the last, okay? In a chronological manner, just understand that. Okay? We are saying we must know what a mole is first. We are saying mole is the amount of any substance that contains a vigorous number of particles in bracket 6.023 power times 10 power of 23 is what you normally call a mole. It's called what? A mole. Any substance, any substance that contains a vigorous number of particles, okay? Which is what? 6.023 times 10 to the power of 23 is what you normally call uh, the mole. And by the way, it's very, very easy. I don't know why people are making mole very hard. Okay? Then we'll start from the simple part of this concept and move ahead. Remember, we're going to discuss about moles. Okay? Generally, uh, write this one. We know that lambda of moles, lambda of moles is equal to mass in gram. Mass in gram divided by molar mass. Molar mass. So there's a time you're going to use this formula. However, as we go ahead, we will also see how you're going to get to mole. You're going to say mole is equal to molar times volume per liter. Okay? We will see so many concepts. Okay? But when we are talking about number of moles is equal to mass in gram over molar mass, then you'll be given the mass in gram of a certain uh, compound. Okay? Or a certain, yeah, of course, a certain compound then, or element. Then you're going to solve, okay? Using the molar mass plus that mass in gram given, okay? Okay, from this formula, remember this formula we have lambda of moles is equal to mass in gram over molar mass, okay? Then in the examination, you cannot only be asked lambda of moles, you can also be asked what? Mass in gram or what? Molar mass. Then I will show you how to drive the formula of getting mass in gram given lambda of moles and molar mass, as well as the formula of getting. Uh, molar mass given number of moles and mass in gram as well, okay? Just understand that, okay? Let's start with how to get moles, yeah? Okay? Given mass in gram and molar mass, okay? Let's see example one. Example one, take your time, yeah? You are told how many moles? How many moles? You are told are there? Are there in? 3 gram of 3 gram of carbon. That's question mark. So ask yourself now, what am I giving you? Know, what, what do I have? Ask yourself, what do I have? You know, how many moles? What we are looking for is what? Is the number of moles. Are there in 3 gram of carbon? What we know is that uh, uh, carbon is atomic number 6. Okay? So the molar mass of carbon will be now in this situation, the molar mass of carbon will be six times what? Six times two, which is uh, twelve. Just understand that, okay? So we are going to say uh, we have also mass in gram. We are going to say solution to this problem: lambda of moles, lambda of moles, is equal to mass in gram divided by molar mass. Okay, let's come here. Divided by molar mass so we are going to say number of moles look here number of moles is equal to our mass in gram is what 3 gram 3 divided by 12 so don't forget 12 is from here 6 times 2 so if it's aluminium you are going to say 13 times 2 plus 1 this is what we are going to discuss about later on so, uh, using our calculator, we have our calculator here. Using our calculator, we we'll have 3 divided by 12. That will give us what? 3 divided by 12. It will give us what? 0 0.3 3 divided by 12. That is 0 0.25. So, this will give us 0 0.25 moles. Okay? That's how you're going to get when you have given mass in gram and a molar mass, okay? Okay? So in, in the case where you have aluminium, you're going to say that in terms is 2 plus 1. You divide, that will be your molar mass, okay? Then in the case of sodium, it will be 11 times 2 plus 1. 
Okay? But in the case of magnesium, you're going to say two out of ten is two will not add because that's a bigger. Okay? Don't forget that. So this is how you're going to get the lump of moles given mass in gram and mole mass. Okay, now let's see another one. Let's see another one. This is air. Let's see B now. Let's see B. You are told how many moles are there in? How many moles are there in? You are told 4.6 gram of sodium. Okay, look at this point. So we know that what's under question mark is what? We know that the number of moles is equal to mass in gram divided by molar mass. Molar mass. So in this situation, you can say number of moles, therefore, number of moles is equal to our mass in gram is what? 4.6 divided by molar mass of sodium. Sodium is atomic number. Atomic number 11, 10 is 2 is what? 12 plus 1. If it is, remember, if it's not even number, 10 is 2 plus 1. Okay? All group 1, don't forget, 10 is 2 plus 1. Okay? Like now, potassium is what? 19. It's group 1. 19 times 2, that 8 plus 1 is what? That 9. But for group 2, no, we will not do that for your information. Okay? Calcium, 20 times 2, 40. That's the molar mass. Magnesium, 12 times 2, 24. Brilliant, two, two, 4 times 2 is what? Say it. Okay. But for global, we multiply by 2 and add 1 to get the molar mass. So it will be uh, 22, 23. Yeah? Just understand. Know where this 23 is from. 11 times 2 plus 1. So we're going to say 4.6 divided by 23. That will give us what? 0 0.2. 0 0.2 moles. So that's how you're going to get the mole given mass in gram and molar mass. Okay? The mole of any any substance or any element given what mass in gram or a lot and the molar mass. Okay, at time you can be told to get the mass, the mass in gram. Okay, look at this one. Let's see this one. Let us see this one for information because you cannot only look for moles because sometimes you can be asked to get mass in gram or molar mass. Okay. Just understand that. Look at this one. This is example two. This is example two for your information. So I was told calculate the mass. Look here. Calculate. Calculate the mass of 0 0.2 of 0 0.25 moles. 0 0.25 moles. Of brilliant, of brilliant. Look here. Brilliant is group two. Brilliant is what? Group two. And atomic number four of the brilliant table. So group two, we are going to say times two only to get the molar mass. Okay? Don't forget that. So here we need to get mass in gram. I know that uh, number of moles. Number of moles is equal to. Mass in gram divided by molar, molar mass. So now I have what? I have the number of moles and I can also get the molar mass of brilliant. I'll say brilliant is atomic number 4. 10 is 2 because it's group 2. It's only group 1 that we're going to say 10 is 2 plus 1. For, but for group 2, we will only multiply by 2. That's why we have calcium as 40, magnesium as 24, then brilliant as 8. Just understand that. So here, what we are missing is actually mass in gram. There are some teachers that will actually substitute the values they are having here. But in chemistry and mathematics, you must know how to drive the formula. You can multiply both sides by molar mass, then after that you divide this again on either side then by a number of moles to get what you normally call a mass in gram. Or no, you multiply both sides of the equation by the molar mass. So I can say my number of moles what? 0 0.25 is equal to mass in gram I don't have. That's what I was told to get, mass in gram. Divided by molar mass of brilliant. Brilliant is atomic number 4. Okay, mass in gram. That is 8, yeah? 4 times 2. Then, times 8, times also 8. So, this will be 0 0.25 times 8. It will give you what? 2. 
So mass is equal to mass therefore is equal to two gram. Two gram, okay? That's how you're going to get mass. Then in our example three, look here. In example three, in our example three, we are going to get, remember we have learned how to get mass in gram and uh, lambda of moles how to get. But we have not learned how to get the molar mass. Because the moment you want to get the molar mass, these guys will give you what? They will give you what you normally call lambda of moles and mass in gram, okay? Let's see that. We have to calculate, calculate the mass, calculate your turn, the molar mass, the molar mass of an element, of an element, of an element. if, if a mass of, if a mass of 5.6 gram contains 0 0.1 mole of the element. 0 0.1 moles of the element. Look at this. Of the element. So now what we are having is what? We have lambda of moles, remember? Solution to this point. Lambda of moles is equal to, we are going to say, mass in gram divided by molar, molar mass. So you can write from there, otherwise you can substitute. You can say 0 0.1 is equal to mass in gram is what? 5.6 over molar mass. Then to get molar mass, multiply both sides by molar mass. Here molar mass. Here also molar mass so cancel these two so you have you are multiplying here molar mass that will be molar mass times 0 0.1 which is the lambda of moles is equal to what 5.6 then to get molar mass divide both sides of the equation by 0 0.1 0 0.1 cancel these two so our molar mass therefore is what 56 yeah 56 so that's how you're going to get actually uh, what you normally call the molar mass of this particular uh, element for your information okay that's how you're going to get the molar mass of this particular uh, element guys this is the first concept of chemistry model in our next class inshallah we will we are going to discuss about the empirical formula and the molecular formula in condensed form because they have relationship. We will have that video, those two concepts at a go in one video. Why? Because the two concepts have got uh, some relationship, okay? So we cannot proceed and add now the empirical formula, okay? But in our next class, I will promise God willing, uh, with the help of God, we are going to discuss what we normally call the empirical formula as well as the molecular formula before we proceed to what you normally call molarity and concentration okay chemistry mole is very very easy guys i'll try my best to help you okay make sure you subscribe and share with your brothers okay who are actually restricted and stranded in in their specific locality due to the uh, spread of this pandemic this is called covid19 okay guys make sure you also leave your comments in our comment box and if in an event where you have a, a question from uh, this kind of concept, more, make sure you, you call this number 0716014642, or you can as well, by saving this number, join our group WhatsApp, and also uh, you go with us, whatever we're doing in that group, okay? We are sharing information and solving, information and solving what? Uh, variety of problems, okay? Otherwise, have a nice day. I wish you the best, okay?